What's going on guys? It's Bradders from Repopy Games here, and welcome back to Kerbal Space Program. This is going to be another tutorial. Um, ignore Steam, if you can see that. <laughs> but this is going to be another tutorial on how to do science, how to get your science and be amazing and have loads of tons of parts. But this is just the basics, this probably will be quite a quick tutorial, but here you find us in the Vehicle Assembly Building. Um, and you can see these tabs up here. So I've already taught you how to build a rocket, how to get into orbit and stuff, how to build a very simple rocket, how to build an orbital rocket. Now I'm going to attach some science to it. So we're going to get the first command pod. This is in my own career mode saved before you ask. That's why we've got perhaps more pods than we need here. We're going to go to utility, put our parachute on. Our Mark 1 parachute is it? Yeah, Mark 16 parachute on there. And underneath, once you unlock enough, you will have in your science tab here, which is like a little electron symbol, you will have more than just this aerial here. You will most likely, after your first um, unlock, you will receive the Mystery Goo Containment Unit, and after a few more, you will receive the Science Junior. These are extremely useful, trust me. So, I'm going to put one of these under here. I am going to put a aerial on the back. I'm putting a better aerial on than this one, but you will most likely use this one, but I don't think there's too much of a difference. And then I will stick two goo canisters on the side here using the symmetry tool, like so. So, obviously you can put like a rocket underneath that and you will unlock more experiments as you go through the tech tree, such as this pressure meter and this thermometer. But I'm not going to launch this into orbit, I'm just going to show you the basics of how to obtain science. It's very similar to the crew reports and stuff like that, like I've shown you before, but I'll recap that real quick. So, just imagine for the second that this, this setup that I've got here that's about to be on the launch pad has an engine, okay? Imagine you launch it into orbit and then do what I'm about to say. So, I'm going to time accelerate so you can actually see properly, if it'll let me. I'll just time accelerate today. Come on, there we go. So we can now actually see Jebediah is happy in his little capsule. Go into IVA mode to show you he is in the capsule. It's like that, press C to go into IVA mode. Okay, so we have our craft sitting on the launch pad or up in space if, if, you, uh, if you decide to put this on top of a rocket and launch it into orbit. So we have our science experiments, but before we use them, we can do a crew report. So we right click on the capsule, click crew report, this is how you start off, this is how you get your first few science points, you can click that, and it comes up with a little feed, you record the assessment of the crew situation. So you've, at this point it will give you the data size, for you, so you can transmit it back, um, how much it will be, how much science it's worth if, if you recovered the craft once it landed, so that would be a green bar across here, and then it will give you a transmit value which will always be less or the same, as as the um, recovery because game balance so in order to keep the data and recover it if basically there's like a two strand thing you can either recover or keep the data keep the data and then recover the craft these are good for like sub orbital or suborbital flights where you actually go back and you um and you are able to recover it like you land in the ocean you deorbit burn you open your parachute and you're okay um, where if you're like on a space probe and sent it into deep space, it's not going to come back. It, you're more, you're better off to transmit the data um, because you you get the data and you get the science points instantly once you upload that. So I'm going to click transmit here so I can show you. So you click transmit and it comes up with this starting transmission. You can see the aerial opening opening up here, and you can see plus zero zero science added, but it would add science if you didn't. Now you see. I click on the crap shield, that used electric charge. So it's probably going to be a useful idea to unlock some batteries or to put some solar panels like somewhere upon the ship so that it has a bit of extra power because transmitting data takes up a lot of power. So now on to um, another thing, we can do an EVA report. So we hover over little Jebediah here, we click EVA and you see we get him out of the capsule. And so 
you can right click on him, do an EVA report, and you can do the same. This data is slightly more than the crew report one. So obviously I'm just going to click reset because that's what it does and then press F to get back into the capsule. Incidentally you press space to let go. And so what we can do now is we right click on the experiments, observe mystery goo. And of course it comes up with this here. The goo doesn't seem to be doing much right now. Obviously because I've already done it. Now these experiments are different because they are inoperable after you transmit them. Meaning you cannot get a repeat experiment from it. The only way you can do that is by fitting more than one module onto your ship. Like I've got two mystery goo canisters here and stuff like that. So we're going to click keep that data. And we're going to do the same for the materials bay. Open that up there. See, I get 0.1 science. The materials show little sign of change, though one of the samples appears to be judging you silently. So we'll keep that data. And we'll obviously observe this mystery goo. If you do repeat experiments on the same point, I don't think it gives you as much science. Because I think that's what they patched in 0.22. So let's say you've been stupid and you put a decoupler between these two. And you were you just done a deorbit burn and you just realised you're about to decouple all your science experiments. Surely, because you've kept the data, they'd all be lost, right? Wrong. If we EVA Jebediah... I wish I'd put a ladder on this in hindsight, we have space to let go. You can spacewalk over to the experiments, like so, right click on them, and you can collect data. Or you can choose to remove, um, do it. You can choose to reset it manually. So we'll take all the data from these capsules. It's all stored in Jebdia now. And we'll take all the data, collect data, like so. And then what Jebediah can do is if he was if I had put a ladder on, if I'd been if I had been a good YouTube commentator, <laughs> I would have put a ladder on here, he could have boarded back on. Obviously this doesn't make as much of a difference in space because you can just float up. But I can get into the crew, into the command pod, and I can store the data in there. And so We'll have all the lovely science we got from here, and we can ditch the experiments, meaning we've got less for the return load. So yeah, I think that's pretty much it with actual science. In the next tutorial, I will show you how to get to and from the moon. I won't actually show you how to land it, um, because I've only managed to do that twice at the moment. But I will show you how to get into orbit, how to, how to get into orbit around the moon. I'll probably join you from orbit itself, from Kerbin orbit. And I will show you how to get into orbit around the moon, or indeed Minmus. So guys, if you did enjoy, please remember to leave a like. Also, do go ahead and do a good thing and subscribe, because you know that really helps us out. Also, um, do leave um, a comment down below as to what you want me to cover next. Um, I am still trying to master interplanetary flight, so that could be interesting. But yeah, Jebediah is going to say goodbye. Incidentally, before I go, thank you to everyone that, that turned out to the live stream on Saturday. We got 45 viewers and one follower already on our Twitch channel, and that's amazing. I will link the Twitch channel down below. As of making this video, once I've finished editing it and rendering it and everything, I will be streaming again. I am building Gondor in Minecraft at the moment because of my friend told me to. Um, so yeah, I thought that was a good idea. And I will see you guys next time. This is Bradus and Jebediah, who's dancing, signing off. Peace, guys. Yeah.